you might be familiar with linear regression based predictions, a fundamental statistical method that assumes a straight line relationship between variables. But what happens when the real world refuses to line up neatly? That's where neural networks come in, offering the flexibility to model intricate patterns far beyond the capability of linear models. In this video, I will walk you through a hands-on comparison using a specially crafted dataset with clear non-linear characteristics. We'll set up both a neural network using PyTorch and a traditional linear regression model, then pit them against each other to see how they perform. Let's start by creating the dataset. I wrote this Python code to create a dataset that contains 2000 data points. It has three particular features. The first feature and the second feature are the independent variables and the third feature would be the dependent variable. Instead of going over the entire code, let me show you how the dataset looks like when we visualize it in three axes. So let me run that file. Python, what was the name of the file? Python data create data create.py not python it will be python we have this display basically those 2000 points that we were talking about when they are drawn this is what we get it is actually a cylinder the cylinder is not really a straight pipe rather it has some sinusoidal pattern and it also has an upward trend in the z-axis so given x and y the z-axis has to be predicted and notice here that with an upward trend there will be ups and downs representing that sinusoid Again, we'll have X column, we have Y column, and we have Z column. Given X and Y value, we'll be predicting Z. So out of those 2000 points that we have, we'll be using 70% for training and 30% for testing. We'll be choosing those 30% randomly. We'll be applying neural network based prediction for Z axis given X and Y. And also we'll be applying linear regression based prediction given x and y then we will compare which one performs better in predicting z on the test data again here is the data create.py file that i prepared to get the data set i am saving the data in a file named sinusoidal cylindrical pipe with trend.csv this is the file if you open that file in excel you will be able to see that I have x-axis, I have y-axis, and I have z-axis, 2000 rows in the data set. That's awesome. Now I have written this code that reads the data, that is sinusoidal cylindrical pipe with trend.csv. We separate the training data and test data. As said before, I have 30% of the data used for test data and 70% will be used as the training data. Then I separate uh, the first two columns, that is X and Y column, for the training and then I can use the Z column for the prediction that is the target value. Same goes with the test. Then I prepare a neural network class where actually uh, I have two inputs that is the X and Y input. Then I have a hidden layer with 64 neurons, another hidden layer with 64 neurons. And finally, I have the output, which is just one output because we are predicting the Z column or the Z feature. This network from one layer to another one, it's fully connected layer. The forward method is straightforward. It's funny, right? The forward method is straightforward. I define my loss function, which is mean squared error because I am using a regressor here. The number of epochs would be 1000. After every 100 epoch, I display the error. Now I do the model evaluation using the test data I have in Xtest. So Ypred is my prediction. 
So in this part, we are drawing our neural network based prediction and the actual z values so that on the same plot we can see both the test data and also we can see what we predicted against that test data. For linear regression, we use the same training and test data, obviously, to make this comparable. Then we used scikit-learn's linear regression class for the prediction. And then with linear regression-based prediction, we plotted the test data and the prediction of linear regression. Then we displayed the plot. So side by side, we will have two plots. The first plot will show the test data and the prediction using neural network. The second plot will display the test data and the linear regression based prediction. Okay, now I will be running the file that we just discussed, which has the name nn.py. Now the neural network is running and I have the losses displayed here and you can see the mean squared error loss is reduced over the 1000 epochs. Now here is the display that we configured in our code. So this one is the neural network based prediction. The red dots are showing the predicted data and the blue dots are showing the test data. X and Y column that is coming from test data and the Z axis is also coming from the test data for the blue dots. For the red dots, X and Y, of course, they are coming from the test data, but the Z axis is predicted and notice that the predicted Z values, that is the red values, are quite following the blue values. That means the prediction is pretty accurate. Now, if we look at the linear regression based prediction, notice that for the same X and Y values for which the neural network predicted the Z values pretty well, the linear regression based prediction is not performing that well. If we try to figure out what's happening here, it's a linear regression based prediction mechanism. So it is not able to capture the non-linearity of the sinusoidal trend. Rather, it is able to capture the linear trend of the z-axis only and that is where neural network shines actually in your data if you have non-linearity like this one the blue lines neural network can capture that non-linearity but of course linear regression assumes that your dependent variable has linear relationships with your independent variables and based on that assumption, it is trying to get its best fit. It got the best line. And notice here that if you consider a line for that sinusoidal pattern, it is going through the middle of those points. So it's performing pretty good in terms of linear regression, but obviously it's not able to capture the non-linearity of the relationship between dependent variable and independent variables. This is why when you have a data set for which you don't know what are the relationships between the dependent variable and the independent variables, neural network based prediction becomes the first choice. If you already know that the dependent variable has linear relationships with the independent variables, then of course you will use linear regression based prediction because linear regression based prediction is way faster than neural network based prediction. But when we are not aware of the data patterns, neural network sounds like a good choice. I will provide a, a link in the description section for both the data create.py file and also nn.py file. Instead of a Jupyter Notebook, I am providing the py files because with py, when you run it on desktop, you have these nice visualizations that you can interact with. You can rotate the visualization in different axes and see what is going on. Thank you very much for watching.